Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this thing in because I think it's cool. I like it. It's nice messages at the beginning of it. I went through this whole thing of trying to frame it properly and then... And then, uh, it's cool. I like this. I haven't even played the game yet, and I just, I like, I like this part. I don't know what Vanaheim is, but I imagine it'll be explained. Uh, hello, everyone. <laughs> hello, everyone, and welcome to Familiar Travels. My name is Decker Link, and I know, I know, literally in the last video I recorded before this was the repeat episode. I said at the very end, I'm not going to be adding any series on because, you know, there's a lot of series going on, but I also made clear to mention that if I wanted to play a game, I was going to play the fucking game regardless of the schedule. So, uh, that's what the fuck I'm doing. The, uh, developer you saw in that last note was signed by Balin. Uh, they sent me a message on Twitter, like, almost a month ago. <laughs> I am so sorry. They <laughs> sent me a message asking if I'd play the game, and, uh, yeah, I want to... Let me check that real quick. Ah, oh, shit. I'm actually gonna check real quick to make sure I don't miss anything specific they wanted me to mention. I'm not getting paid to play this game. All they did was provide me a key to play it. Good thing I checked. They also offered uh, for me to be able to give out uh, keys if they wanted me to, if I wanted to do like a giveaway or anything like that. I've never really done a giveaway. I don't think I'm good at that. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I can't do giveaways. This game's available in the link down below. I'll say at least that. So, go check that out. Uh, but yeah, let, let's get into it. They, it's a thing, and it looks cool, and I don't know why I clicked load game. I'm just so in the habit of having played games already. So, let's get into this, shall we? I said let's get into this. In the beginning, long before the five realms were connected as they are today, an ancient evil threat... In, it, uh, it... It's nod. It nod at. They developed a plan <laughs> and met upon the battlefield. The veneer was a masterful strategy. Their plan <laughs> came at a high price. The veneer was weakened, but their numbers fell with each phase of the. They had all but. <laughs> they had... <laughs> Sorry. Hey, pay attention. We're about to get swamped here. Oh, I'm still not playing, okay. Uh, they're taking a nap on the floor, how lazy. Yeah, you get up, you cloakman. We can we can still do this! Come on, I believe in you! Oh shit, here we go! Everyone, we are not yet defeated! Live or die, complete the ritual! We must... Shit! <laughs> Am I just slow? I feel like I'm just reading it slowly. I like the aesthetic, it's, you know, the bits. Fortunately, the bond forged between the party of Spellweavers meant that they were able to... Oh my god, this is just Final Fantasy. The raw magical energies of their combined might did more than just save the day. I was actually able to get through that one. The spell created a brand new realm, Vanaheim. There we go. That they... They did something to, apparently. Victory, yay! Those spell weavers are responsible for everything we have in Vanaheim and form the council that makes up your headmasters and my bosses. Uh oh, someone's screaming bullshit. Something's happening. Oh, it's the game isn't in that Final Fantasy style. Oh, now we're in full scale. Whoa. Oh my. Okay. Hello. I wasn't able to load this game in as a uh, game in. OBS, so I can't just move that window around, so I'm just gonna have to make me really small so I don't block the text box. Murphy! May I ask that you show respect both for the council and for this classroom? Ah, oh, I was off in my own world, suddenly jolted back to intention. What? Jolted back to intention? I met with a fight in front of me. What the fuck? Art is amazing, I really like it. But, uh, is it frozen? What happened? It's just, do I have to press it again? Oh, okay. Oh, oh god, this is on a different engine. I don't know what the buttons, do I have to click? Okay, I pressed the space bar, apparently that has the, fr uh, the Renpy option of H. So now when I need a thumbnail, I gotta do that, okay. I'm learning, I'm learning. 
Spoof, you are such a camera whore. Get away from me. Excuse me, Natalie, if I don't respect propaganda designed to trick the uneducated masses. Oh, shit. I don't know who is who. No one's given any indication of who's who. The room lets out a collective groan. I'm left a little confused. I guess the TA's name is Natalie. I really should be paying better attention. If anybody in this room is uneducated, it is due to your constant terror of interruptions, Murphy. You were brought here to help the new transfers, so you cannot so if you cannot accomplish the single the simple task, you will have to be removed. No need, I'll leave. This is bullshit. Each and every one of you made a mistake. Damn. Okay, there goes Murphy. See a, sor a short black bird stand up aggressively, stomping out of the room, leaving several black feathers in his wake. Oh shit. My sincerest apologies for the interruption. As you can see, the admissions council has been less stringent lately. The room lets out a soft chuckle. I follow along. I follow allow to attempt to blend in. Oh, uh, hey, we got multiple sprites. Hell yeah. That's, that should just about cover our introduction. I see the teacher's assistant glance over some papers. Ah, I almost forgot. This year we're going to be attempting to socialize you with some of the students in, to, of various years in the Institute. My first college tried to do this and it went terribly. I look forward to seeing it possibly do better here. In the weeks leading up to your class's beginning, there will be several mandatory meetings where you will be free to ask questions, discuss your course selections, and hopefully make some friends with some of the people that are here. Natalie looks down at her papers, as if double-checking if she's missed anything else. So, that's it. You can go now. You should receive your group sometime tonight in your residencies. Residences? Shit. <laughs> if you're unclear where you're going... Before they can get another word out, people begin to pour out of the class, gradually at first, but eventually at large, a large crowd forms. Oh, Oh. Hey, son of PsyOps, could you get the fuck out of here? <laughs> in an instant, I am left in the classroom, alone. I know I wasn't paying attention, but that orientation left me more confused than ever. What was that story she was telling about? Telling about, anyways. I'd much rather have learned a bit about the social customs. Maybe a map. Maybe something in the room can teach me about Vanaheim. Eh, may as well peek around a bit, a little bit, before trying to find my apartment. Oh god, is this... Certain objects are clickable. Go on, give it a... I imagine that was just more encouragement. Dude, oh god, is this another winds of change situation? I gotta click shit. Well, it... Okay, so it clearly tells me what I can click on. Cl Blackboard! The board was like this one I got here. It must be from a class last semester. It's hard to believe this stuff. This is the stuff I'm going to be learning. Just being here is unreal. Where is here? <laughs> uh, the books, the, qu the quill, okay. It's a fountain pen with a large blue feather at its base. At first glance, nothing special about this pen. It does beg the question, though. I wonder if this came from another student. Hmm. I wonder if some of the bird people in Vanaheim use their feathers for stuff. Oh god, bird people. Can I even say that? I wish Natalie spent less time on that story, more time on etiquette. Okay, so that is giving us uh, a hint that maybe we... Well, we're definitely not avian. Uh, I don't know what we are exactly. Books. Oh, oh no, that's just the blackboard again. Uh, the window. The Oh, that's the door to exit. We got some sort of smashed pot up here, and not the fun kind. It appears to be some kind of pot! Uh, there are large chunks missing out of it. The caption below it reads, Antique Pot! Designed in two chapters. Is that a hint? That eventually it's going to become important? Seems like a bit of a cheap move, but I accept it and move on. <laughs> Very nice. Not gonna question the helmet in the corner? You know, just random fucking soldier helmet, that's awesome. How about the random box? So that's that's more important than the fucking helmet. <laughs> this box seems like it doesn't quite belong here. A box on a shelf, my god, what is this fucking communist Russia? I approach the box and swear I see it rattle a little bit. Um! Curiosity gets the better of me and I slowly open the box to reveal... A garden gnome? Okay, what about the book on the table? 
Out of all the books here, this one seems the most ornate. There are latches running across the pages. One can only dream of what mis mysteries lie in the con confines of its pages. Perhaps it's one of the, my colleague's diary. Hmm. A magical spell book or something far more sinister. As I loom over the book to get a closer look, I read the cover. It reads, 101 Magical Mystical Puns, A Beginner's Guide. This is going to be a fun game. It seems going to be fun, huh? Huh. Some mysteries really are really best left unsolved. Uh, looks like that's all the things to click on in the room, so let's exit. Oh, wow, this looks straight out of fucking, like, the My Little Pony comics. I wonder if the TA's comments about lax admission were targeted at me as well. After all, I don't have any magical ability. We're in a magic college! That would make sense. The whole, the story at the beginning was how magicians... Uh, founded Vanaheim, Vanaheim, Valifornia, uh, and uh, so I so magic exists at least in now we know it's confirmed in this present tense, not just in a uh, folklore sense. So this appears to be a magical college, which strengthens the My Little Pony comic analogy. Uh, let's see. I instinctively go for the phone in my pocket, but quickly realize that nothing is there. I must have left it back at home. Shit. That sucks. New at college and your phone is gone? How are you going to get anyone's numbers, man? I stop and try to visualize a map in my head to no avail. While I am deep in thought, I hear a voice. I look around for a moment before realizing the voice is coming from behind me. Oh my god, it's miles per hour. Hey, got any questions, newbie? I spotted Kitsune, oh my god, I'm getting fucking Kyle flashbacks. And I, I got two friends named Kyle, One, both of them are dungeon masters. One of them is fucking obsessed with the Kitsune. His voice sounds elegant and distinguished. Okay, so that, that changes the voice I gave him. But his speech pattern is quick and erratic. I turn to face him. Elegant and distinguished, yet quick and erratic. How the fuck? Okay, I turn to face them more clearly. There they are. What? My apologies. I should introduce myself. I'm. i You might know me as. <laughs> Elvupin, a legendary prankster. Oh God. Oh God. We've found, by happenstance, the fucking jackass of the campus. Uh, I just got here. Sorry, I don't know that name. Oh, fucking. I default to you in the space bar, goddammit. Looks a little dejected. Aw, oh, poor boy. Wait, seriously? Don't tell me you didn't get a chance to look under the sinks of any of the bathrooms. That's my trademark brand. Sorry, Elvrupine. I didn't get a, cha get a chance to yet. Oh, who am I kidding? My prolific career as an entertainer slash character actor is still in its budding stages. El Rupin is just a character I do from time to time. You can really call me Cash. Is this a name another prank? Nah, it's short for Kajin. Kajin? Kajin. Hmm. But since you probably heard that out of my lips and immediately forgot how to pronounce it, or how I even made some of those noises. But since. But since. Okay. You can just call me Cash. Seems interesting, if not a little overbearing. He is the first person who has actually come up to me instead of just giving me funny looks. So, I came over primarily to your. To your. What? What? What, what was that? Oh. So I came over primarily due to your weird look. Where's all your fur? We're a human. We're a human in a magical furry university. Holy shit. Whoa. <laughs> You're gonna back off there, pal. Get a quick thumbnail. Look at your pantsless self. He pokes me in the leg, recoiling his hand back immediately. You seem like you... You you some kind of hellish, scaleless, ca cave-dwelling thing? I am from mid Midgard! <laughs> Midgard. Mid. Midgard. Is this some kind of fan fiction? Everyone there looks like this. Oh, he's so bashful. 
Oh, no way! You're Midgardian! You know that you're the first person from Midgard this council has ever, ever let in, right? Well, doesn't that feel awesome? I clicked. There we go. A little bit. Uh, mostly it just makes me feel strange. So what kind... So what, y'all? Some kind of incredible magic user somehow? I actually don't know any magic. I came here to learn. The admissions office told me something about a new initiative to grow magic in those that don't have any. Man, awesome. The council is always thinking of new ways to help grow our magic. Well, hey, I might not look like it, but I'm pretty much the best, most well-respected person around this campus. So if you stick with me, you'll be set. Nobody will pick on you. Anyone who says that is a fucking outcast that's lying to you. I don't trust this motherfucker with his two short arms besides me, but that's just one guaranteed person instead of, like, hundreds of people who could potentially pick on you. Can't argue with that logic. I'm still coming to grips with the kind of people that live here. I hope everyone is as friendly as Cash. But at the same time, having some variety would be nice as well. Well, I could... Uh, well, I should probably get going. There's going to be a meeting with my new friend group later tonight. Don't forget to check who's on your team when you get back to your place. Y yeah, uh, that reminds me. Do you know where I should be going? Oh, they usually put newbies into the same complex. I think the only open one is the Kuzgen... Kuzgen? Kuzgen Apartments. <laughs> They're just down the road a little bit. There should be a sign and some balloons outside to welcome all the new transfers. I see Cash run off into the distance to greet another group of people. Oh boy. <laughs> I should get out of my room. I, sh I decided to go to my room. My phone should be with the rest of my stuff packed away in boxes. That's awfully trusting. Oh my god, look at this. There is some sprite work. Oh, that's awesome. Walking through, wow, throughout looks weird. In, Jesus, throughout's just a weird word. Walking throughout town, I feel like everybody's eyes are on me, and despite this, I feel like I'm the most normal-looking person here. Although I suppose that's how everyone feels. Never trust someone in a cloak! Oh, shit, they stopped. I'm sorry. Did I take too long? <laughs> the walk to my building was short, and entering, I find myself in a furnished room. It's hard to believe that it's a single. I'm worried about my group assignment. It's only six people, and the chaperone who works somewhere... It's only six people and the chaperone who works somewhere in the town. If the people I've met so far are any indicator, there's a good possibility I won't be welcomed. I just hope I don't get funny looks from anybody. Oh, fully furnished. Nice. We've got an Apple Mac. we got a Mac. Another gnome. It's with the fucking gnomes. Uh, a taped up poster of Midgard over what appears to be slime oozing out of the walls a picture of framed fruit or a framed picture of fruit looks to be a lamp that is both unplugged but still working this is an interesting little apartment you got here right beside the door there's a pile of boxes all labeled with my name on the top hopefully none of my stuff got mixed up on top of the boxes i see a letter with my name on it oh god oh fuck oh fuck okay Hello! This letter is to inform you of your group assignment for the weeks leading up to your class's beginning. Your first meeting with your group commences tomorrow evening. Please attach this name tag below yarn to your person, so you can be recognized by other members. The names listed below are your group mates. Oh, of course, Jean is on there. Also, Frape, Nil, Kenshi, Mocha, and... Tsitsi. Your sponsor is Poe, owner of Poe's Emporium of Curiosities and Curses. That's a fun fucking name. I like that. On a personal note, I understand you may have some difficulties fitting in here, being from Midgard. But understand that Vanaheim is a home is home to people from all of the realms. And just because you are not furred or feathered does not make you any less welcome here. People here are largely kind, but do your best to stay out of trouble. Natalie. And oh, that was from Natalie. <laughs> Natalie, head of the student union. 
We haven't had a custom name in a long time. What even was the last custom name? So it looks like Arthur. So that would be referring to Chester A. Arthur. For those who haven't, who don't know, because apparently the last time we made a custom name was in fucking January. Uh, the gimmick here is a uh, president's. Because uh, I'm a presidential history nerd. Presidential history nerd. Um, so Chester A. Arthur, after that would be, uh... That would be Rutherford B. Hayes, but we've definitely done that one already. We did Rutherford B. Hayes. After that would be Grover Cleveland, which we did do. After that would be Benjamin Harrison, which we did. And be Grover Cleveland again. After that would be William McKinley. And I know William got used, but that was probably from another one. McKinley, I know we haven't used. The name McKinley. And this seems to have a lot of extra fucking names, so McKinley is pretty fucking extra in my view. So I guess we'll, uh... We'll go with McKinley. Jesus Christ. And the internet's taking a shit, but that's fine, whatever. Hello, my name is McKinley. Here we go. After William McKinley, a uh, Republican president from... Uh, he served one term, so that'd be 1897 to 1901. I have to admit, I'm happy that I at least, that's two words, at least know one person on that list. The rest of the names aren't familiar, though. The, mm, I'm bleeding. Lovely. The note from Natalie made me feel a little better. Hopefully I will see her around to meet her. Hmm. It takes a few hours to unpack everything, but once I do, the room looks a lot more personal. By the time uh, all the packing is done, I've hardly noticed it's gotten dark. I wasn't able to take too many things with me from Midgard. Midgard. But at least, again, two words at least, I was able to find my phone. It looks exactly the same. Oh my god, what was that phone background? Well, I finally have a second to breathe. I walk a little bit around the room. It's spacious. It's honestly better than anywhere else I've lived before. It's sort of surreal to even be here. Growing up, I've always felt a connection to other worlds, but I always thought it was just in my head. I even went as far as to imagine different versions of myself from different worlds. I know there are a lot of people that won't, would want to be in my shoes, I just hope I can do them proud. Knock, knock, knock. Ah, my ears start to ring a little bit as the door is pounded on. My mind begins to race as I wonder why someone, somebody, would be knocking so hard. Cautiously, I start to approach the door, making sure not to do anything too quickly. Knock, 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 knock. Ah, coming, coming. Christ. There's a little bit of framing issue. Uh, you can see there's a little something in the bottom left corner that was not there before. Imagine there's going to be a character sliding in from that side after this text box, maybe even the next one. I rush to the door and open it. I see a massive brown lion thing step through the doors and fill out my room. Their fluff pushes against the side of the door a little bit as they enter. Wow, how did I call? It was even two text boxes. Oh, good. This is your room, McKinley. The art's a the slightest bit exaggerated. Just a little bit, maybe. What? How do you know my name? creature pokes the name tag on my chest, and I stumble back a little bit. Oh, right. I forgot I had that on. It's no problem. I tried to put my on, but it just disappeared in the fur. But I'm mo mocha mo Mocha, I guess? We're in the same group. I didn't expect anyone to show up before the meeting. Frankly, I'm a little surprised. How did you know the room I was in? Uh... There are a few people complaining outside, one of them asking for a herb to treat headaches. You want to try every door in the building? I didn't. Okay, rubs the back of her massive paw against her mane before continuing. I wanted to find you quickly to let you know that there's a party tonight, and I thought you might want to come. A bunch of people from our group are going to be there, and our sponsor owns the club in Vanaheim, so he set it up for us there. I don't know. I'm pretty tired. I know you're nervous. I thought I was pretty convincing. 
I know you probably think you're... I know you probably... Uh, you know you probably think you're pretty convincing, but your sweat is dripping through your hoodie. I'm from Jotunheim. I also have a tough time fitting in around here. Since when most people think of Jotunheim, uh, including that snooty professor, they think of monsters. Listen, I came here to see you because I knew you were uh, the Midgardian. It, uh, it, it'll be really cool to have someone else there who doesn't really fit in. And plus, uh, it'll be way less awkward at the meeting tomorrow if you've had a chance to meet everyone. She raises a good point. It would be a lot better if I knew what I was going to get into. Yeah, alright, I'll go. When is it? Oh, it's already started like an hour ago. I was going to be here early, but somebody there challenged me to an arm wrestling conversation, and, well, you know how that goes. Lucky good, I'm pretty sure I know. I don't know how it goes. But better late than never. You get dressed and meet me there. Mocha runs out of the room. Hey, wait, where is it? A pounding footsteps before she reappears into the room. Oh, the owners really like the idea of a speakeasy, so it's hidden. If you go to the town square, you'll see a sign that says, Speakeasy here. I know it's not too subtle, but, well, it'll make sense once you meet the owners. Mocha runs back out of the room, yelling something about defending her arm on her. Mocha seems pretty cool. That's two people I've met now, and so far, it's been a pleasurable experience. I guess I should probably go to this party, get to know some people. Before I have a chance to second-guess anything, I'm out the door. Cool. I head out after finding some appropriate clothes, appearing to be the same ones from this first time we did this walking transition. And walking through the town, it seems empty. The entire population of Anaheim is less than a few hundred. So I don't expect to see many people, but, al but almost nobody is out. I see a couple of people who are walking around, looking down at the ground in black black hoods. University staff. Before long, I've arrived at the town square. And we shall pick up in the town square on the next one. How the fuck do I save this? I'm scared to try... Is it S? Oh, shit. Oh, what happened? Oh, no, that was skip. No, 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 no. No, 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 go back. Oh, there's no... Ah, oh, shit. Escape? No, I don't want to go to the title screen either. Shit. Uh, F? Oh, that's full screen. Fuck. I don't know what's happening. I don't know how the fuck to save this. I'm going to have to go back anyway because of the skip thing. And it doesn't do the, the rolly scroll thing. So, I'll figure it out off the episode. Uh, but until then, ladies and gentlemen, let's, uh, thank you all for watching, and thank you, of course, to Balin who sent me, uh, the code. This looks very interesting. The art is very stylized. The backgrounds are very smooth. I like it. Um, I like the intermingling of sprites with, uh, regular drawings and animations and whatnot. That's very cool. I like that. I don't know how the hell your menu works. I would like to have a hub on screen, kind of like Renpy that shows all the buttons, but I know that can be kind of cluttering and cumbersome, so I, I'm not t I'm not telling anyone how to do anything. Um, this is just confusing because I don't know this engine. Uh, but anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I will definitely be playing more of this. Don't know when, uh, but uh, I look forward to seeing more of it. It's a very interesting premise right off the bat. Uh, and it's kind of underplaying the interesting premise, which is an interesting strategy. It's not reveling in the fact that it's so f foreign for our, uh, for th to the reader. Uh, so that is interesting, especially for a self-insert character-led visual novel. So I guess we'll find out more of it in the next episode. But until then, let's go ahead and do the talking and slate thingamabob. On the left, you've got patrons. On from Patreon, thank you very much to them. On the right, you've got a recommended video straight from YouTube to YoF specifically, as well as the most recent upload. In the middle, you got a link to subscribe and a link to the Patreon page and links to social media and everything else in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.